the investment bank. I went through a journey of like finding answers to my own kind of lifestyle, asking myself the questions, why I'm eating this every day and what this food is doing to me. I was watching this show and then this author, Kimberly Snyder, came on board and she was talking about the food and how food inspired her to change her lifestyle and how it actually impacted her energy, her look, her, how she feels throughout the day, how digestion is working. If somebody feel that way, why I shouldn't try it? So I opened the book and the first thing I've seen is uh, just to cut out dairy. From that part, I was like, no way. I mean, I love dairy. I, I drink milk every day. It doesn't seem right. Like it's telling me like dairy is not healthy. But then at the same time, I've been taught that milk is the only source of calcium. So I was like, what's going on here? There's something wrong. Either my family been like telling me something that I that wasn't right or this book is actually not real reliable from that day i started like trying and experimenting on my body and it just felt amazing and amazing and amazing and amazing and from that part i was like oh my god there's something that we've been doing here in, in our society or like the way we live our lifestyle um we're un unaware of like what goes around us we're unaware of like how food are impacting our life we think that these things are normal when we feel bloated when we feel tired when we have like skin reactions due to food, but we think it's normal and that's not normal. The journey that I went through was so inspiring. It changed me so much. It just didn't change me on a lifestyle base because I wasn't into like, I mean, nature and, and being back to kind of like, you know, to my roots. But going through that organic transition, because I didn't force myself, I didn't wake up one day and I said, okay, I'm going to be vegan forever. It's just some kind of thing that I adapted to and it made me feel amazing. And, I, and then from that time, I traveled a lot in a way that I've seen so many cultures around the world that living on that diet. And we just seem like here in the Middle East be like, oh, like, no, we just like, our culture and tradition is meat and chicken and, and having the animal products. But then if you look back 100 years ago, meat wasn't accessible. Meat was gold for, for, uh, for some people. That's the thing that I want people to start questioning. And that's how I started this. Like that's where it initiated. I felt like there's a missing part in the culture, in the community that we are in. And I've seen the impact that just adding fruits and vegetables to somebody's life can have on his like mood, can have on his, you know, lifestyle. <music>